I was chatting to a mate recently, and he's, um, he's quit his job. Uh, he was really high up at Google in uh, artificial intelligence. It was really interesting. I was like, why, why have you quit your job in artificial intelligence? And he said that the robots are going to start uprising, and he doesn't want to be any part of it. And I was like, A, you are not that good at your job, <laughs> that if you don't turn up, it's not going to happen, right? Unless you are the black guy from Terminator 2, it's not all down to you, right? <laughs> Uh, but also, B, I think if the robots do start uprising, we would fight back against them. Because we fight back against the machines all the time, even when they're being quite helpful. For instance, the little self-service machine in the supermarket, right? We fight back against that all the time. Because before, when it, uh, when it first came in, people were like, oh, you shouldn't use the self-service machine. It's going to take people's jobs. And it hasn't taken people's jobs. It's just moved them over there a bit. Because it used to be, you'd go to the bloke and he'd go, boop, boop. And now you go to the machine and you're like, scan, S scan, 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 scan. And then the bloke comes over and just goes, come here, boop. Just move the job over there. And we cheat that little machine. That machine will ask us a question. It will say, How have you brought any bags from home? And you will say, yes, I have brought seven bags from home. And then you reach under the counter and you steal seven bags, right? <laughs> you put them on the scale and it takes it away. Or you can actually bring a bag from home uh, and you can take it away. Or you can put something that is the size, weight, and relative density of a 12-pack of Cronenberg 1664. You can put that on the scale, it'll take that away. And that is a little tip that I like to call theft. <laughs> Pretty good system, right? I've got another tip for, uh, for supermarkets as well. A lot of students in, you'll like this tip, right? Uh, well, it's got a little thing that I like to call misery shopping, right? Uh, what you need to do is you go to your large supermarkets. You need to go to uh, your Asda, your Morrisons, your Sainsbury's, one of the big ones, right? Uh, and you need to go when you are properly depressed, right? Uh, it doesn't work at Aldi and Lidl because they're already quite depressing, right? <laughs> Uh, you go to one of the big supermarkets, you go about 9 o'clock at night when they start putting yellow stickers on everything, right? And you walk around in a deep state of depression just going, oh, my God, I'm so sad. Oh, my God. Oh, I've made such poor choices in my life. Oh, my God. I'm so miserable. A steak for a pound. Yes, please. Oh, God. But I am just really miserable. Uh, salad for 22 pence. Yeah, oh, God. But I do need to just start making better choices. Like a smoothie for 22p. Yeah. I have walked in there visibly depressed. I have walked out of there skipping, holding two rotisserie ducks and a birthday cake seven months before my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, 36 and a half. It's great, right? It's just, uh, 